As they kick off their home opener, the Dalhousie Tigers say they have something no other university football team in the country has. Will! You just saw something with that player. Yeah, so he's not checked in. You need to check in your helmet there, brother. They're all wearing helmets embedded with sensors that transmit signals to this device when players take hits to the head. The technology tracks the hits and warns coaches when players reach a certain threshold. We can get them off the field, hopefully, before they sustain a bad head impact and get them looked at prior to that. I feel a lot safer on the field knowing that there's somebody on the sideline basically having my brain in their hands. That person is Casey Jones, team president, assistant coach, and Dalhousie medical student. I was instantly drawn to this as an opportunity for some important research. He's collaborating with the Nova Scotia Health Authority, using the data collected by the helmets to figure out how to coach players more safely. It doesn't tell us when someone has a concussion, but it does tell us when someone has reached, you know, the 1% of hits that maybe we should take a look at that player when they come off the field. The helmets are about $500 each. That's 200 more than the old ones. But the coach says it's worth it, and he's already seen the benefits. We had a player last game. There was a certain area of his helmet that he tended to block with or to lead with. We were able to coach him up through that week of practice, kind of try to help him steer away from that. Before, it was up to the players to ask for help. With the football mentality, it's like soldier on, get through it, finish the game, finish the play, finish the, the drive, right? Have you ever taken a hit where you think you shouldn't have continued playing, but you did? Absolutely. The new helmets take the decision out of the players' hands and put it into the coaches, who say they have no problem pulling players to keep them safe. Kayla Hounsel, CBC News, Halifax.